Welcome back to the channel, everyone, and welcome back to another video. This morning, me and Z-Mads, we are going to be doing a little ice fishing on Lake Superior once again. So, if you guys watched the last video, I am up here with one of my buddies, Zach, and we have been doing a little bit of ice fishing on Lake Superior. So yesterday, we went out and we targeted some walleye and some sturgeon, and we had a decent amount of luck. That was the last video you guys saw. If you didn't see that, I will put that at the end of this video. It was pretty fun. But today, we decided we wanted to target something a little bit different. So we went out and we got a bunch of lake trout fishing stuff and some salmon fishing stuff. And we are trying a different spot out here on Lake Superior for a different species of fish. So today, we're going to be doing, like I said, some trout fishing lake trout and then some salmon fishing hopefully so it is about sunrise right now we need to get our butts going we got here a little bit late but not too bad uh, we wanted to wait till it got light out because where you fish for these trout and salmon it's different than where we were walleye fishing the ice is a lot thinner and it's kind of sketchy out here to be honest so we wanted to wait till it got a little bit light out since we have not been to this spot before and uh just so we're safe i can see what's going on can check ice on our way out and make sure we're going to be safe out there we're going to get our stuff loaded up here and make our way out there and once we are in the shack we will let you guys know a little bit more about what's going on and we will see you guys on the ice all right well me and zach we just got set up on the first spot we're gonna try so there's about like five inches of ice out here it is a little bit less than when we were walleye fishing we had like over two feet of ice under us out there and it's not the case here but what we got going on we're in about 30 feet of water and we just got our sight holes drilled so the water out here is super clear and we're hoping when we shut these windows up here that we're gonna be able to sight fish and see our jigs actually down there even in 20 plus feet of water. We're gonna be going after Lakers and some coho salmon. So I'll show you guys what we're gonna end up running right away, but Z-Mads, he's dropping down there right now and we're gonna to get to fishing here, stay tuned. So what we're gonna start off running here, I'm gonna be using some smelt and I'm just gonna chunk some of that smelt up just a little bit so this is what I'm gonna start out using. It's a one ounce squid jig here. So I probably don't even need smelt on there, but I'm just gonna put a little bit of smelt on there because why not? So I'm gonna chunk some of that up, get that on here, and we're gonna drop down there and see what's going on. All right, guys, I apologize for, the footage is gonna be a little bit dark today. It's gonna be a little bit bad lighting here, but uh, we're gonna be trying to sight fish. So it's 30 feet here. Z-Mads dropped his tube jig down already. He has a white tube jig and you can see the bottom and his tube jig clear as day. This is so sick. All right, so I'm ready to drop down. I just put a tiny piece of smelt on this thing just for a little added scent. That's literally it. Oh, Z-Mads is on. Z-Mads is on. Is it? Oh. All right, I'm dropping down. Yeah. Oh, dude, I just got smoked. I already just got hit, dude. Oh, There's already one down there. Yeah, this one is a keeper. He's. I'm getting hit. This bait might be a little too big for these things right now. All right, well, Z-Mads just got the first coho there. That did not take long at all. I dropped down, I already got hit a couple times. The rig that I'm running is more for lake trout, uh, not as much coho. I'm running a bigger setup here. So I don't know if I'm gonna catch a coho on this or not, but there are a bunch of coho down there right now. So let's see what happens. All right, I'm yeah, dropping down a smaller a setup for these. Oh, dude, there's one already too. hitting it. Oh, there's one oh, already there's hitting a, there's it. There's a trout coming up to it. Yeah. All right, you guys, well, me and Zach, we just made our way out a little bit further and we're sitting on about four inches of ice out here. Uh, it's getting a little bit thinner. We were trying to make it into some deeper water. I think, what are you reading on your graph over there? We're in about 45 feet now compared to like the 29 or 30 that we were in back shallower. So we're out here a little deeper. We wanna get out a little deeper and find some lake trout. So. In shallower where we were, it was mostly the cohos in there. And we wanna get out a little deeper and try to find some lake trout. There's still gonna be coho out here. So we're hole hopping around. It's pretty nice today. It's about mid twenties. Um, so it's a lot warmer than it has been. We will consider this nice 20 degrees and kind of minimal wind. We're gonna consider this a nice day. So it's pretty warm. So we're doing some hole hopping, but I'm just dropping down here 
and we're gonna see if we can get on a fish out deeper and if not here we're gonna move a little bit deeper yet and see if we can get some fish for you guys so stay tuned here I already just had a mark hit me miss it Okay, me and Z-Mads are already getting some fish hits out here. I just missed one when my GoPro was off. And right after that, Zach just missed one too. He's running a bigger tube jig trying to catch some Lakers and I have a smaller gold, almost closer to a walleye spoon on with a little piece of smelt on it. I'll try the deepest. You could you could try the deepest. I'll try this one. Yeah. Oh, Z Mads is hooked up. Nice. Careful. Oh, yep, yep. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, Here, do you want your glove off or no? Um, I so can... Oh yeah, nice fish. Nice fish. Okay, I think Z-Mads is on a lake or he's on a big freaking fish here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice laker, nice oh, laker. Perfect. Don't try to horse it. Oh, nice laker, dude. Nice laker, dude. That is... Dude, nice fish. That is crazy. Nice Bottom fish. Oh, all right, first lake, are you guys? Nice freaking fish, you mads. Oh. All right, well, we got the first laker of the day. He just dropped down too. That did not take long at all. So I think we're gonna go in shallower, grab the shack, and come out here and try to fish because this deeper water has had a lot more fish in it for sure. All right, well, nice fish by Zach. We ended up moving the house out here by us. And I'm still gonna do a little bit of hole hopping just so we're not right next to each other in the house. I'm just gonna kind of bounce around here and try some different stuff, but we are back down there. I have a white tube jig on now that we're deeper here for Lakers. I kind of gave up on the coho because uh, I'd rather catch a Laker. So Z-Mads has the same white tube jig on that I'm gonna be running. We're running the exact same thing. It seemed to work for him on that fish. And uh, yeah, we're back down there. Let's see if we can get another fish here. I'm coming in, Z Mads. No luck out there. I didn't mark anything, have anything hit, nothing. Have you been having any luck in here? Um, not really. Uh, I had one mark that just chased me up about 10 inches feet off the bottom, and then he went right back down. Was so. it a bigger mark or no? Uh, about the same size as the last one. Oh, so you think it was a Laker? If I had to guess, it's probably a smooth. I love Saint Dang, hard. son. All right, you guys. Well, I just had to come back in the shack, as you can see, and warm up for a minute. But sounds like Zach had a mark on him. Maybe another Laker. I did not mark anything out there, unfortunately. And uh, yeah, that's what we got going on. So I'm going to come in here, defrost my line and reel and stuff. We're pretty froze up. It's it's It got kind of chilly out there, chilly and windy now. So it's not ideal for hole hopping, but we're going to let this stuff thaw out and we're going to get back out there and do some more hole hopping. Until then, I'm going to drop down in my little corner over here and do some more fishing in here. But since the fishing is slow, I figured I'd just take a second and explain some stuff about our tactics, show you exactly what we're using out here, and uh, just give you guys some information while the fishing is slow. So let me reel up here. So this is what most of us are using today. Uh, this is what Zach caught his on. It's just a white tube jig, and then we got the old stinger rigs on the back, coming out the back with a treble hook on them. It's just pretty much a leader tied to the jig here. And when these fish come up and try to tail grab the tube jig or something, they don't always have to bite the big hook. This stinger in the back here prevents oh, you from losing that fish. Oh. And luckily that was on there because that's how Z-Mat hooked his. And pretty much what we are doing when we are down on the bottom, it's not like really fishing anything else, like walleye fishing or anything like that. So when these fish come up and we mark a fish, we're literally reeling up like as fast as we can 
and these lake trout usually will chase you up and smoke you if they're hungry. They were very aggressive. Uh, the hits we've had and the one that Zach caught was super aggressive. So, we we're back down there fishing. Zach's got one kind of toying with him right now. It's about 11 o'clock, and we're gonna hopefully catch another fish for you guys. Jacob and Jack are also out here now, so they have not had too much action. They might have caught a little coho or something like that, but uh, nothing too crazy yet. That's all we're doing. We're gonna keep fishing, and hopefully we can get hooked up to something here again. Also, my gloves did fall in the water, so I got them on top of the heater, but that one's looking like it's not doing so good. <laughs> oh, dude! Yeah, that's not good. I guess that was a little too hot. Oh, I'm working. Okay, well, I do have a little hole in my glove now. Oh, Yeah. All right, you guys, this is my first lake trout of the day. We ended up pushing out a little deeper than where we uh, were fishing in the shacks before. And I was down for about, I don't know, 10 minutes, finally had this mark come on me, chased me up. I missed it the first time, and then the second time, I got him. But it is prime time, we got about an hour and a half till dark, so hopefully we can get on a couple more fish here, you guys. Me and Jerp are on our last few holes here, jigging. We got about six holes left. We're just doing like two minutes a piece in each hole. It is getting pretty late and dark here. It's about 15 minutes after sunset, so... I think the main bite for these trout is about done, unfortunately, so I don't know if we'll have any more luck, but look how far that chunk of ice went out out there. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but that's all water out there, like as far as you can see. We can't even see the very right side of the ice. It's crazy how big this lake is and how fast a chunk of ice that big can just vanish and this can turn into open water so you got to be really careful out here especially if there's uh some cracks or pressure cracks or ridges starting uh you definitely have to watch out for that and know which way the wind is going and probably don't cross any cracks or anything in the ice if the wind is blowing out in the main channel because you see how fast that moved you do not want to be stuck out on something like that drip's got a mark on him over here what do i do is it on you yeah, he's on me. Stop slowly. There you go. There you go. Oh, dude. Where'd it go? Do I drop it? No. Is that okay. coming back? Yeah, yeah. Get ready. Get ready. Reel it up slow. No. My line's freezing so bad. Drop back down. See if he shows up again. Yeah. Dang it. Well, unfortunately, Droop did not get that one, but it is a good sign showing that these fish are still maybe a little active. Okay, everyone. Well, me and Jack just got back to the ice shacks here, and it is pretty freaking cold right now. So we're gonna pack everything up. We don't really have any lights or anything with us. We didn't really plan on fishing past dark uh, because the bite for trout pretty much shuts off once it gets dark for the most part. So we're gonna pack up, get everything out of here before it is pitch black. I'll see you guys back at home, and we will figure out what's going on. See ya! Okay everyone, well as you can see I am currently back at home and it is about two weeks later since we caught the lake trout. But I ended up getting the lake trout back from Z-Mads, he ended up bringing it back to his place and he was nice enough to clean it up for us and uh, give me some of the fillet. So he ended up chunking the fillet up and the skin is no longer on it. Since the skin is not on it, I'm going to throw it in the deep fry and we're going to see how it turns out. So I'm going to go inside, I'm going to start cleaning this fillet up and we will get back to guys when we are doing that. Oh. 
All right, so pretty much what we got going on is we got about three chunks of lake trout about this size. So I am going to chunk all this stuff up into some smaller bite-sized pieces, and then we're gonna throw it in the batter, get it all mixed up, and we're gonna start frying here. Okay, well, I think that this is probably mixed up good enough. So I'm gonna grab uh, some steak. I don't know, I think I have some kind of fries. Hold up, I'm about to check what else we got. Oh! Hey. All right, we're gonna cook these first if the oil's hot enough right now, but let's go check on the deep fryer and throw these bad boys in if it's ready. I, I, I. All right, it doesn't say it's ready, but I think it's capping. It's about to be ready enough. Oh my God, that was a lot. Probably too much. My bad. Okay, that did just splash on my skin and I can confirm that that is hot. All right, this is taking like 15 minutes. I probably should have listened when it said it wasn't hot enough because it wasn't hot enough, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna let the rest of these fries cook up. That's the first batch of fries looking delicious. And then we're gonna throw the lake trout in there. All right, the fries are all done and it is time to get some of this laker in the oil. Oh yeah. Also, this time I actually listened and waited till the light set ready, so the oil is plenty hot now. But that is the first batch of Laker in there. We're gonna let this stuff cook up, get that second batch done, and we're gonna be eating in no time. All right, I'm gonna have to say that's good. That stuff looks freaking delicious. Let's see how much I spill. Wow, I knew I'd get one. Rookie move, you guys. Oh, two, okay, my bad. That stuff looks freaking amazing. I'm gonna run this stuff inside, get that last batch in, and we will see you guys inside once it is all done. Well, this stuff smells and looks great, but I feel like any deep fried fish looks the same. So, I'm about to fix me up a plate here, and we're gonna try this. This is the first time, actually, that I have had Laker, but, Let's see if the deep frying uh, did it any justice. It's hot for sure. I think I pulled it out at like the perfect time because it's still super soft. It's definitely not overdone. It takes the like fishiness trout taste away from it a little bit doing it deep fried compared to if you put normal trout in the oven like with the skin on. That's honestly not bad though in in the deep fryer. But I am going to dig in and I am going to eat this fish because it is freaking delicious. And that is going to wrap this video up. So thank you guys for checking out the video. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you guys go down below, click that like button and that subscribe button if you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet. And we will see you guys on the next one. See ya!